Okay, fast video right quick. PlayStation 4 sale boosts only finance and PS Vita and the PlayStation TV has rugged down apparently. Now we all we all knew that they put in their damn they put all their cards on the table for the PS4. You know, sale in Sony games and network service division with the place of visit called home increased 16.8 percent year over year to 4.39 billion thanks to an increase to the ps4 hardware unit sale now this been going on strongly since december 31st 2014. now the now the vita and the pretty tv it's not doing so hard if you want to read the full article, you read the description below. Here we go. I'm not reading off the article. I'm just going to actually address how I feel about uh, some sort of thing. The PlayStation TV, it misses a whole lot of critical features. You cannot play all of the Vita games on the TV just yet. It also misses some actual, like, streaming service, too. And, you know, they everybody just basically call it a remote play TV mode, which is useful for that feature. And the Vita is basically the JRPG damn uh, machine because that's all they have on it. And you know, I am a Japanese RPG fan. It's 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 strange that I don't even have a Vita. It would make sense if I had a Vita due to the fact that I love JRPGs. But the thing is, that's the thing. They got a lot of JRPGs. A lot of people are not like how I am when it comes to actual anime or video games. We you know, us anime fans, like true dedicated anime fans, like the Japanese video games as well. Most of us. So, you know, we be appreciated to that, but a lot of people just want games like Infamous. A lot of people want games like, I don't know, God of War, Uncharted, The Last of Us. They want games like that on a Vita instead of playing a game like Tales of Heart or a Final Fantasy game. Because, sure, it's cool to have a lot of JRPGs, but once you've got nothing but just Japanese games, or games that port, they call it the port, the Vita port, uh, well, the Vita port system, or PlayStation port Vita, whatever they call it. It got a lot of ports that on the PS3 and the PS4 that is also on the Vita, and they got any games on it as well. It did not develop its own identity, and I don't think Sony still make another handheld after this. Vita should not have a sequel. I mean, sure, the PlayStation Floor Purple did good, I believe it sold seven million, 70 million uh, over its life cycle. So it did its thing. It gave it was a 3DS, I mean, well, not 3DS, the DS still kicked its ass and dominated. Now, Tino can make handhelds. Sony still realized this and just leave it alone. Now, the PlayStation TV thing, it's just an accessory to the Vita. But yet, due to the fact that Vita is not doing hard, hot, you would know that that was about to do hot as well. So I knew that this was about to fail. However, it can turn around, but it's up to Sony fans to support the damn system with a handheld and this little micro damn system in order to turn this thing around. But hell, sometimes it's just too much to ask for. I might get a Vita. Who knows what I might get in the upcoming month. But anyway, tell you guys think. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you guys check out Gaming Sans for Tear. They channel in the description below. And have a good one, you guys. Peace.